Hello, thanks for watching our video. Here is Japan Reiki Association. So thanks for watching and I'm Satoe. I'm recording video from Hong Kong. How are you today? Last time I was uh, talking about attunement. Yeah, attunement is very important part in our Reiki attunement course. So if you ever saw that you you want to learn Reiki, maybe you you should receive attunement. So that I, I made a video about attunement last time. I also want to talk more about attunement today because I think uh, many people are actually wondering what is attunement and maybe you think that oh I want to run Reiki now then maybe you of course you don't know what's going to happen in the class and then I really didn't know what's going to happen in the class and I went to the level one to see Reiki Reiki teacher suddenly told me like yes you are now receiving a Reiki attunement and I'm kind of full of um you know like uh, insecure and some excitement as well so now I I'm beam teacher so I want to uh, give you some advice and I also uh, hope this information helps as well yeah so by the way I have looked at some comments uh, in the previous video so some people talking about is there any self achievement um, from our original Usui Reiki we don't have idea about self achievement and then actually this is logically doesn't really make sense because achievement clearly for like uh, this is for Reiki teacher that's Reiki teacher going to give the Reiki achievement to the students so there's no such things as a self achievement if you want to do yourself so this become more like your own training and if you do by training so this is like the last time I explained to you is more like other energy work so yeah you can also gain energy by training but that's probably taking more years or more longer time to really uh, gain more energy and the healing part is uh, quite difficult that's I, I I know yeah so there's no self achievement in Usui Reiki yeah, originally Usui Reiki, Usui Mikao started giving achievement to the students. So we should be in the same place and receive achievement in the class. So we also want to keep the same way. Um, so that's why we have Reiki achievement courses. For example, now here in Hong Kong, of course in Japan and in Canada and Korea and France. Uh, but other places, yes, of course you can find more Usui Reiki schools as well. And they should be doing the same way like uh, you can receive a chumen in the chumen course yeah so you can look up the website and see that if you have if you can find uh, any classes near your town so this is the one thing I want to let you know and then another thing is yeah usually we say because receiving a chumen is helping you open your Reiki passage yeah um, the Reiki passage everybody already have in uh, inside our body but somehow it's kind of a little bit close it's not really like a nicely open all the time for the healing like especially because we want to pass the energy nicely from the palm but you don't really focus the energy flowing it is almost impossible then here comes a treatment process helping you uh, really nicely smoothly flowing the Reiki energy from the palm so we say that if you receive you have ever received a treatment one time in your lifetime probably that's already enough for open up your Reiki passage so that's much much difference like before you receive a treatment and after you receive a treatment but you know what I want to really want to tell you now, like being a teacher, I feel the benefit of receiving achievement uh, sometimes, like a time to time. So that, uh, for example, Usui Reiki level one, level two, level three. So we always have achievement process. So I, I, I feel like this really makes sense for people. And sometimes we hold a group Reiki practice sessions. And then that's not really like a formal achievement process. But we also have kind of a practice. Uh, this is the, the process for tuning, clearing uh, your Reiki passage, which I believe is really needed for people because you know uh, you can imagine like a clean in your room so you you can have a very clean nice room but you know the, the other day so when you wake up next morning and you have a lot of things to do at the end of the day maybe you want to do clean clean up your room again 
the room, the cleaning rooms is not like, oh, I have done one time cleaning and then I don't have to do forever. Uh, nobody thinks like this way. So you have to clean sometime because we want to feel better. We want to feel um, comfortable in your room. But you know, we also can mess up the rooms or maybe too many stuff on the floor. So that's why cleaning is needed for the room. I imagine our body maybe the same way. So sometime, yes, we practice Reiki to cleanse up your energy and you feel good, like a charging your energy as well. Maybe you pass like a several hours later, maybe you feel like you kind of depleted and you, you feel like a lack of energy. You can anytime go back to your Reiki practice. And again, if you do the Reiki, uh, for example, self-healing, breathing, and even Reiki on others, so those are uh, practices all for your charging energy as well. And then not just the charging, sometimes it works for the cleansing energy as well, which is really important for, for uh, Reiki practitioners. Yeah, so human, uh, yes, we want to be clean and very balanced energy all the time, but somehow, you know, because energy is like kind of a moving and can be unstable and stable, so that's repeated many times in our lifetime. So in this manner, I also believe that sometime you receive a chumen again, it is also quite helpful as well. Yeah. I don't know how to explain this nicely to you, but talking about karma, for example, or we can, we can also talk about trauma, like some very uh, big stagnant that happen inside the body. Some people also come back to me like, oh, I, I'm practicing, I keep practicing, but I don't, I just couldn't feel as much I, I feel usually. Then I also suggest them to come to Guru Reiki, uh, come back to the Guru Reiki again, and they receive that sh uh, short uh, tuning, clearing uh, energy passage. So is this really helping you? to clear up your energy passage that you couldn't do it by your own practice. So what I really understand about Rusui Reiki, we have two parts like, uh, yes, of course, we have a training part that what you can do at home and that you need some self-practice for growing your Reiki. On the other hand, I feel that the importance to sometimes you need to meet people face to face and we have some face to face practice is really uh, good for your energy flow. Uh, being in the group Reiki, your energy also dramatically uh, balancing and recharging and recovering and clearing. So all working is also happening as well. So this is really sensation and experience that you should really feel the Reiki in the group Reiki or because sometimes people misunderstand about Reiki is just a chuming course and you have done one course and that's it. So you don't really do anything, but the Reiki should be working, you know, for a long, long time. But you know, I can really tell you with my experience, it is not really enough at all. Yeah, actually we may want to come back again and practice in the group. You also go to the level two again, level three again, and you receive several times attunement. Your vessel, the Reiki passage is larger and you can pass really a lot of energy as well. Yeah, so this is what I really can tell you with my own personal experience. I also have received a lot of comments uh, from my my students. So some some of my students they learn Reiki outside like a long long time ago, and they want to kind of relearn Reiki again. And then we see Reiki. I think that because being the Japanese is quite uh, mysterious as well in the middle because we don't know the history. Even I'm from Tokyo, I never have uh, heard about Reiki at the beginning. So many many question mark at the beginning. I think um, to take the, the course again uh, in our association, I think giving you more idea about what is Usui Reiki. Yeah, achievement, I, I can expect to you like in this video, but some parts, uh, because that come with my sensation, not really like a logical thinking. So maybe some of you watching now feel like, uh, is that really possible? Maybe I don't really think so. I really understand why you think like this way, but you know, for Reiki, the energy, which is invisible, uh, it is all calm with your sensation. And then it must be really changing after your civil practice or you simply receive a Reiki treatment, uh, in the session, you will also feel the difference as well. 
Yeah. So I hope this information helps and I hope you enjoy more Reiki. Yeah. In the future, if you have more experience with Reiki, yeah, it's good. And then you can leave the comment below if you have any questions or opinions. So we are happy to answer your questions and comments. Okay. So have a good Reiki day and see you next time. Bye.